Let's talk about the XOR gate. The XOR gate. In an XOR gate, exclusively one input. How many inputs? One input or the other, that is the other input, must alone be on. In order to do, to do what? In order to get the LED to light up. But never both. But never what? But never both. Never both. Exclusively one input. That's it. To get the light. The LED. To light up. Alright. Okay. Alright. Let's see this in action. Let's see this in action now. Let's build an XOR circuit. There we go. Draw. I go to draw. I go to control devices. Not AND gate, we did that. OR gate, no, we did that. Invert gate, we did that. No, here it is, XOR gate. And I click on XOR gate. All right, where shall I put it? Well, how about right here? That's fine. How about uh, two inputs? Two uh, lights? Two switches? There we go. One and two. What else do I need? I need an output device, an LED. I'll put that right there. Good. All right. I uh, now it's a LED making manufacturing machine. My mouse cursor, so I have to go over to draw and turn it back into a selector, and I'm done. All right. Now let's move this guy down to here. That switch down there. Move the XOR gate there and the other switch here. Line it up a little bit nice and neat. Now let me get my LED over to here. That looks nice. Okay, I can live with that. Now we have to hook them up together, wire them up together. I go to draw. I go to wire. I connect these two knobs and ba-boom, it's done. The other two knobs, ba-boom, it's done. So the now the switches are connected to the XOR gate. Now I got to connect the output of the XOR gate to the input of the LED, and by whom it's done too. Draw a selector, turn it back into a mouse, and now uh, let's make it look nice. And we'll move this out a bit, and move this down into the left a bit. That looks nice. So uh, it looks to me like I'm ready to run this baby. Let's do it. Simulate. Run. Now this is an XOR gate. So it's like an OR gate, except that only one input exclusively can be on to get this guy to light up. Let's find out how true that is. I'm going to light up this guy here. It's currently there's a zero on the input line. I click on that zero, I turn it into a one, and a one goes in here and boom goes right into the LED lights up. Beautiful. Shut them off. LED shuts off. Go to the other switch. Click on them. LED lights up. A 1 goes across the input and in through the XOR gate and to the output to the LED. That's great. Now I'm going to turn on the switch at the top. Now watch what happens when I turn on the switch at the bottom. Kapow! Off it goes. This is an XOR gate, an exclusive XOR gate. Exclusively one input only can be on. I just shut this guy off. Only this guy can be on to get an LED, 
get to get the LED to light up. Shut that off. Only this guy can be on. The guy on the bottom. That switch. Only that switch can be on to get the LED to light up. Exclusively one or the other can be on, but not both. I turn them both on. Watch what happens to Mr. Light. Bam! He goes to the island of Babai. Off he goes. Huh. What do you know? So, once again, in an XR gate, exclusively, exclusively one input, and just one input. Or the other. One input or the other must alone be on in order to do what? To get the LED to light up. But never, ever both. One goes on, the light goes on. Two goes on, light goes off. Two on, lights off. One is on, the light goes on. What do you know? What do you know? Well, thanks for watching. And so long. From Gary D. 777, a.k.a. also known as Hoboken Gare. Bye-bye.